welcome back to my channel. I'm Denny. If you're new here, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to all my guns fam. Hey! <laughs> so we're here for a very highly requested video. People see things in my background and they get curious. So today I have my bracelet collection. It was something that was requested by a bunch of people. So in my stack here, I have both real and fake jewelry. I have, you know, costume jewelry. I have a whole bunch of different things. So I'm gonna be showing you all of my bracelets. And then I also have, I have a lot of bracelets. So I just kind of pulled them all out so that I can show you what I have. I don't even know how to do this because there's so many. So the first one that I have is this one right here, which is like a cuff style bracelet. You just slip it on and it has, you know, it's stretchy in here. And you just put it on with all the different colors. I love this. I I rarely wear my jewelry, but I do have a lot of costume jewelry because I do like, you know, dressing up every so often. Then the next one that I have is this right here, which is a vintage piece. It has, this is so dusty too. It has this hinge that you have to pull out and in order to like, close it so you you see that hinge and this is a vintage piece that I got at one of those um you know antique shows and uh, I believe if I didn't get this through an antique show it was one that I got through a co-worker that sells antiques so that is this and it's black and you know brown and gold or you know rusty details which I think is so cute the next one that I have is this silver one right here which has the you know chain and little lock hinge which sorry there we go and that is just another bracelet that is very beautiful my mom actually loves this bracelet a lot and every time that she sees it she wants it for herself <laughs> i should just give it to her right then i have here my jade bracelet this is a real jade bracelet that you know is supposed to supposed to lock on and stay on and you're supposed to wear it forever but when I started wearing it it started to get darker and I hear like a lot of weird superstitions with these guys and I'm also scared of breaking it and this was this cost me a pretty penny so I didn't want to break something that cost me like three hundred dollars so then the next bracelet that I have is just this right here which is a bangle silver bangle then I have this other silver bangle which is like studded it's just like a plain bangle so I had a small malfunction I had on some press on nails and they kept on popping off they were the impress brand which I had purchased at the dollar store and I think they have gone bad because they literally do not stick to my nail bed at all they like as soon as you touch it it just falls off so if you <laughs> For you guys, I know this is a different type of video, but don't buy Impress brand nails from the dollar store. Just don't do it to yourself. Anyway, with that said, I'll go back to my bracelets. So the next one that I have is also a bangle, and it is this black and silver bangle. Nothing really interesting with that one. And then I have this other one, which is a cuff, and it's just silver. I think everybody's just interested in seeing like what actually is there because they see it and then I have this gold cuff I believe I got this at forever 21 but I'm not even sure a lot of these I've gotten from random places and I don't even remember where I purchased them from so for me to like link or tell you where they're from it's really difficult because I've had them forever <laughs> <laughs> also have this cuff one right here which I believe you know it's just a little dirty I have to clean them down with a silver wipe but this one is also I believe from like forever 21 or was at one point then I have this cuff which is just beautiful look at that detail and I either bought these at like Burlington Coat Factory or something like that because they also have jewelry there then I have this like like conforms to you so basically you just wrap it around this one has a lot of bling it's good for the holidays I got this bracelet at I can't get it to sit right but um so so this bracelet I got at Ashley Stewart and it came with a pair of earrings and then the earrings broke so I just kept the bracelet because I do like some bling. 
Then I also have this one right here, which uh, this one just pops open like this. And I call this like my Beyonce type cuff. I don't know why. I just feel like this is something that she would, you know, just wear. I don't know. It reminds me of Beyonce for some reason. I also have this cuff right here, which is just, you know, it's a cuff and it's plain silver. I also have this right here, which is just a, another like cuff that you can just uh, button and then that just sits on your wrist, which I thought was really cute and I really love like ocean type of color. It's one of my, one of my favorite go-to colors. Then I also have this one right here. This bracelet is, you know, one that clips on and this is from guess I don't know I got this at probably like a I got this at like a Ross or a Burlington Co factory as well so then my next bracelet is this one right here this one um it comes with a set it comes with a necklace as well and I believe I got this from forever 21 so I thought that was really cute and you can just you can just close this however tight you want because it also has that little lock on it and I have a set of bangles that are black and gold and they just pop on your wrist then I have this uh, silver bangle which is like a prayer bracelet and it has the our father uh, prayer on it so it's like just really cute and it just reminds me of like serving the Lord so I love that bracelet then I have this a plastic you know cream and like gold bracelet it's just a bangle so next up is this set of bangles that are all entwined together they kind of just stay together and just dangle and make noise and the next thing that I have is this cream bracelet which is also plastic but I just like the detailing and it's like a vintage style bracelet which I do like Next up is this set of yellow and bronze with white and it just comes with the main one and then all these other ones that come with it so that you can like you can put them in whatever pattern you would like you know it doesn't have to be any certain pattern you just put them or display them however you like and I believe these are from forever 21 as well so then these next two are like a chevron type of pattern and they came together in a set and I got these I think at Burlington Co Factory is just one black and one blue in the gold accent and they're just another bangle then here I have another dirty bracelet which is my little elephants and this is just an elephant bracelet that clasps together and it just it's silver and it just needs to be cleaned so this one right here I haven't even taken the tag off I got this for $1.99 and I believe this was at Berlin Cinco Factory. I love like the little, you know, um, beveled detail and that it's like a teal and gold, which kind of matches me today. I should have put this on today and it would have just looked really cute. But afterthought. Then I have a, another set that I never even took off the tag, also $1.99. And I got these over there at Berlin Cinco Factory as well. You have the yellow, green, and like mint color, which I think kind of ties in with this. I think it will look cute together. So then I have this other set that I got as well, that's a, which is a pink and gold, and then the regular like gold. And I thought these were all really cute. And it was also $1.99 at Berlin Cinco Factory. So I can like add more bracelets to it if I wanna combine more colors, or I can just like, I could separate them or wear them all together or however I want to do they kind of all match and go together then I have this bracelet right here which is just like a stretchy one with spikes and you know sometimes you just want to be edgy and that is just cute to me I'm not even sure where I got this at so there we go with that and I also have that type of bracelet in gold so if I'm feeling edgy in gold I have the gold if I'm feeling more silver or if I want to just wear them both together, I have the spikes in both colors. Oh, here goes another one um, that goes to that yellow set. So apparently there were more than just the ones that I showed you. Then I have this tie-up type bracelet that has like the little silver and it's a string and then you can just, you can pull and adjust this and make it whatever size you need it to be on your wrist, which I think is really cute. And then I have this wooden bracelet that has like the nails inside of it. It's really cute. I love like earthy type of bangles and that's what this one is. So then I have this charm bracelet right here and it's like one of those toggle ones where you just 
take and you you put this little stick through those so this right here is my travel bracelet and it has a camera an airplane a globe you have paris a little hotel key a you know a diamond right there you have your phone booth and you have your bags so this one just reminds me of always traveling and I just love the detail on it. I got this at a shop that was in Center City here in Philadelphia that sells a lot of like interesting jewelry and I just I just loved it. I love the charms on it. Then along with that I ended up getting another charm bracelet which is also a toggle one and this right here is this charm bracelet also is like a travel bracelet. It has your passport, it has your little um what are these dolls called? I can't remember. They're little Dutch dolls I, I don't remember and then you have your windmill which is missing two little um, it broke a little bit so a few of the like windmill pieces fell off and then you have the little suitcase that says I heart travel and then you have your little stoplight and then you have your little um, I think this is from Europe uh, I'm not sure what this landmark is, but I thought it was really cute and it just reminds me to travel as well So I love those so then I have this set right here, which is like a brassy color or you know Bronze and it's just like a bangle set that you just put all together Making more jingly noises yet another dirty bracelet This is a silver bracelet and it this bracelet kind of reminded me of like one of the Tiffany bracelets so I got it a while back because of that and it also just clasps it has like that little clasp that you put on just a simple bracelet this set of two bracelets which is just like this you know little open pattern which is kind of cute and I think dresses up really well with certain outfits then I have some really dirty bracelets that kind of all go together and I have these other ones that just look like a smaller set that I may have lost some of the bracelets that go to it I'm not sure then I also have another like studded type of cuff and this one is in gold and it's just buttons together as well then I have this bracelet right here which is like a stretchy type of bracelet that you just slip on and it's this beautiful like ruby color and I think it's just so cute and it can be dressed up really nice too then I also have this bracelet right here, which I believe I purchased either, I think I got this in St. Lucia, I'm not sure, and I believe this came with a set of earrings as well, and I just thought it was really nice. It just has that little blue ocean thing, and it looks like it's really nicely handcrafted. I liked it a lot. So now we'll come into my Pandora collection. Um, they're a little dirty because I've left them on here and they need to get clean. So eventually I have to clean them up. But this one right here is my travel Pandora bracelet, which has like various different charms. If you want a separate video on my charm bracelets, we can do that at another time because for me to explain them, they would be too difficult. I also have this other Pandora bracelet, which is just like miscellaneous charms and things like that, that I have on here. I have yet another Pandora bracelet, and this one is like, uh, this is my, what I call my love bracelet, and I, they all need to be really cleaned off. I need to take them to the store and get them cleaned, but these are just like sentimental. They have like a lot of thought when it comes to like what I like. Then I have this other Pandora bracelet and this is the clip one that I had designed with several different clips then I also have the Pandora bangle that only has like one little um, one little charm on it at the moment um, which I kind of like it like that it has my symbol like lock and key which is something very dear to my heart so then right here I have a beaded Tiffany bracelet that my husband bought me with a little lock which is like our little symbol of love, you know, lock and key. Anytime he sees like hearts or locks and keys, he gives them to me because that's sentimental to us. And another sentimental symbol for us is also the infinity sign because that's how much we love each other. This is also a Tiffany bracelet and it is the infinity sign right there. So then the next set of bracelets are from the Alex and Annie collection. And I have right here this one which is just my initial D for Denny. I also have a mermaid. I have my crown because every princess needs a crown 
I also have the dove because, you know, um, to me, it represents the Holy Spirit. I also have the anchor. My mom purchased this one for me. It's the key to life. I thought that was cute. She also knows I like keys. So then I also have the shell with the pearl, which I love the ocean. My, my whole home is like themed after the ocean and I just love it. So everyone knows and buys me things like that. And this one right here, which my mom bought me, it just, it's a daughter one. Has a sentimental value to it. And then this one is also from my mom, the Because I Love You. And this one right here, my husband bought me. Of course, it's a lock and it's a heart-shaped lock, so you know. And then this one right here is a feather. And then I also have this one that says love on it that a friend of mine gave me. This was actually my first Alex and Annie bracelet. And then this last one is a one of their like bangle collection ones, which I thought was really cute. And I should really start wearing all these jewelry pieces, but I get so lazy and I forget and I have to clean them. So I have it. The last thing that I have on this rack are some watches. I have this gold guest watch. I also have this other watch. It's a Nine West. I also have this coach watch, which was a gift from my mom. And that right there was everything that I had in this collection of jewelry. Like I said, or I mentioned, this is... This video was requested by my guns fam. They wanted to see what are those bracelets that are back there. They wanted to see them close up. So I am giving you exactly what you want. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of my guns fam. And as always, from my house to yours, love you.